Hey guys, this is Caesar from GamerGraphics.com bringing you another Proe Wildfire 4 tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, trace sketch in Proe. And it's pretty simple. And what I mean by this is I received this JPEG from a customer. And they no dimensions on it or anything. And let's say I have I need this modeled in Proe. Now I could just, you know, make some rough sketch in Pro-E and it wouldn't be, it'd be kind of close but not really. Um, but I can do better than that. So with Pro-E Wildfire 4, what I can do is make a new part and I'm going to call it Trace. And uh, I have the ability to bring in that JPEG or PNG into my part itself. And you're probably wondering, well, how do you do that? Well, you go to Insert, you go all the way down to Style. Now I'm in the Style command, okay? So you go to Styling, Trace Sketch. Now, once you're into this, it brings up this little Trace Sketch window. You hit Front, or you could hit Right, Top, wherever you want to place your sketch. And now I'm looking for my sketch. And it can bring in PNGs, JPEGs, um, bitmaps. So I'm going to bring in uh, the example to PNG. Hit open. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to get out of here and go back into part mode. Now you can see that this sketch that they sent me is on my front plane. It's just 2D. And um, now I can somewhat rough in what they have sent me uh, rather quickly as opposed to just making something up and trying to come close. So now I'm going to hit a re I'm going to put the revolve tool on. I'm going to hit define my front plane, hit sketch. Now here's the thing. This is just a projected image on a, on the front plane. You cannot use the grab entity tool and use on edge and try to grab these edges. It will not pick them up. So you actually have to trace it. So I'm going to put my center line in. And then I'm just going to quickly rough around their sketch. To make it as, as semi-accurate as I can because I might need this for an interface in my model for space clean. So I'm just kind of roughing this out. I'm almost done. And then I'm going to get out of here. Now, you can see that this is pretty close to what they've sent me. Now you'll see down here I have this little gap. It's, it's this little key uh, that they have uh, put in. So that's just an extrude, which I can actually go in and it wouldn't be too hard to, um, to approximate where that's at. Um, if you want to see how I do that, I guess I can do that right now. Placement. Sketch on this plane. Now you'll notice I can't, I can't see it, but uh, the sketch is still there. So, with the sketch still being there, you know, uh, it gives me the ability to be able to quickly adjust my distance. So let me square this up real quick. I'm going to draw a line like this. Use on edge. Now I'm just sketching on a 3D model that I made. And I'm just sketching in this little key. Okay. And um, let's say I make this 8, and 5, and 5. Let me go back and let me. I'm going to extrude this to the surface. I'll 
Okay, now when I line this up, you'll see that it's maybe just a little bit off. Okay, but because it's in my 3D model, I can quickly just adjust it. and regenerate and now it's pretty much right on see now I have that little key in there and it's it's almost right in line with what their sketch looks like and uh, when you have these little nubs on the back you know um, because of the way this is projected and it's on my front plane I would probably do um, revolves for those just so I can get them somewhat accurate so I just pick my front plane and I would put in you know a center line roughly about where their center line is at sketch references I'm gonna make the back a reference here and it doesn't need to be too fancy So that's five so let's just say it's five by 4.5 okay so now I'm just gonna revolve this hit OK and I'll repeat that uh, two more times And then I'll do it one more time. Select my front plane. Make this five. Alright, so now I have those three little nubs and I'd probably throw a radius on there. Obviously that's too much. We'll say 1.5. Again, I'm just trying to get a rough estimate of what you'll see. It's pretty close to whatever it is that they have and I can always adjust it if I don't think it's the right uh, distance, you know, can make it six, hit regenerate. But this is the quickest way you can somewhat accurately trace something and make it, uh, make it for use in your assembly or whatever you're using it for. So now that I'm done with that, you're probably wondering, well, how do I get rid of this sketch that's in the background now? Well, nothing is constrained to your style that this sketch is based on. So you can suppress it, and it goes away. And you have what's left is your part that you can now insert into your assembly or use for whatever purposes you need it. And uh, it's a pretty fast way to um, quick, quickly go about doing something somewhat semi-accurate as opposed to just freehanding it. So if you have any feedback or you have any questions, feel free to rate and uh, leave comments in the YouTube uh, comments below. You'll also be able to download this model from GamerGraphics.com uh, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.